Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed by the mountains of information that you need to remember and struggle to find the important points amidst a sea of notes? Taking effective notes is one of the most powerful tools you can have to conquer that feeling and take control of your learning. I'm Dr. Mark Egan, a professor in organizational psychology. Note taking has been my life. And in this video, we will go over six simple strategies for note taking that will help you remember more and organize your learning more productively. And watch to the end and you can build up the most effective note-taking method to fit your personal needs and skills. First, let's talk about why note-taking is so critical. Research shows that when you take notes by hand, you're actively engaging with the material and strengthening the connections in your brain. This is known as the encoding effect, which means that when you write something by hand, you are more likely to remember it later. Additionally, taking notes by hand allows you to process the information more deeply and critically, leading to better understandings and retention. A more intense encountering of information will create the strongest pathways of knowledge. I often write my lecture notes out by hand to bring me closer to the content. Next, it's important to find a note-taking method that works best for you. Here you need to think about how you want to capture your notes. Different people have different learning styles and preferences. Some people prefer to use a traditional notebook and pen, while others like to use digital tools like Notion or Obsidian. Experiment with different methods until you find one that you are comfortable with and that helps you retain the information effectively. You can also try different layouts, such as a linear layout, a mind map layout, or a concept map layout. You know, often notes on my iPhone and Mac provides all I need in terms of a space, storage, and writing. Now that you've got your method down, let's talk about how to take effective notes. One important technique is the Cornell method, which involves dividing your page into three sections, a main note-taking area, a summary area, and a cue column. The main note-taking area is where you write down the information. The summary area is where you write a brief summary of the main points. And the cue column is where you write keywords or questions that will help you remember the information later. This allows you to organize your notes in a way that makes it easy to find and review important information later. There are many other potential methods. Try and find one that best suits you. I would even suggest going one step further and tweaking and combining well-known methods to suit your own diverse needs. Just blindly following the systems others create for everyone mistakenly neglect your individual requirements of success. Another key technique is to use symbols, abbreviation, and shorthand to make your notes more concise. This will save you time while you're taking notes, and it will also make it easier to review the information later. By using these symbols, you can reduce the amount of writing you have to do while still capturing the main points. There are also other ways to code. For instance, as a researcher interpreting interview transcripts, I will develop a thematic coding system to organize and gather common themes together. Another important aspect of note-taking is just to focus on the important information and just don't try to write down everything that is said. This means identifying the key points, concepts, and main ideas and focusing on those. This can be done by using a technique called the five W's and H, which stands for who, what, where, when, why, and how. By asking these questions, you'll be able to identify the important information. Also, you need to apprehend with purpose and work out the information we want and what we want to do with it. Is it of value or is it just going in the brain dump? Also, it's important to review your notes regularly. Try to review your notes within 24 hours of taking them. This will help solidify the information in your mind and make it more likely that you'll remember it later. You can also use different techniques for reviewing your notes, such as the flashcard method, where you create flashcards with the key information on them and review them regularly, or the space repetition method, where you review the information at increasing intervals of time. Intention and engagement is crucial. Questioning what they are for will lead to a different level of engagement. Is it for the purpose of a test or an exam, towards a qualification, or part of a wider project of self-improvement? Only through knowing this can you take the required style of notes. Is it for retention, understanding, or to actually produce something? Note-taking should be a process of individualized translation and breaking each step down to develop each skill. Once you understand this, you can create the most effective note-taking system ever designed because it's adapted to yourself and it fits you perfect. You now know the fundamentals of note-taking, but to become an amazing note-taker, you need to watch this video, which looks at how to be skilled at reading fast and effectively. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. Cheers.